Hallelujah. Thank you, Reverend Teresa. We appreciate you for that call for mercy. We thank God for the call for mercy. Thank you, ma'am, for blessing us so much. Praise the Lord. Are we prepared? Are you sure this is your night of performance? I want you to join your heads together as we welcome a special minister from Akure. Please join me to welcome Minister Sarah all the way from Akure. Please put our hands together for her. Let's appreciate her. God bless you as we welcome you to the stage. Let's go. Shout it loud. Shout it loud. Hey. Hey. Karabato Soto Shadaya. You can shout it. You can shout it better. Yeah. Baba. testimony you will say see what the Lord has done look at somebody say see what the Lord has done what you waiting for hey has come to pass oh see what the Lord there shall be a perfect Help me sing that song. See what the Lord has done. Hey, hey, hey. See what the Lord has done. What you waited for. Hey. Has come to pass. Hey. See. to praise him. I'm asking a question. Are you ready to praise him? You ready. Brother, shout hallelujah. Let me hear you. Hallelujah. I didn't ask you now. Brother, shout hallelujah. Oh, that is how the brothers can shout. Mommies and sisters, shout hallelujah. Let's hear you. All right, let's go. I've got joy. One, two, three, go. Let's go. I've got joy. Come on, dance to the front. 
Hallelujah. I feel like shouting because I know that God will empty the emptiest. Praise the Lord. Welcome tonight. I'm because of, uh, our daily mother, uh, Dr. Chris, and I want you to know that nobody can empty you. Just begin to thank him again and say, Lord, I know, no, I cannot be emptied. No power can empty me. No power can empty my children. No power can empty my ministry. I will be whom God wants me to be. Father, thank you for the program tonight. The Prince of the Power of the Air will arrest you. And I say the Holy Ghost is a control in Jesus' name. Welcome. How was your week? Praise the Lord. It's been busy for me writing, preparing for July, August, September, our daily manner. And I know you are praying along with me. Yeah, at least if it's just five minutes a day, pray for me because I'm praying for you. So God, God bless you. We'll continue with the issue of um, how powers can empty you. Demons can empty you, really. You know, and I, I just want you to know that the greater one is in you. So I wanted to, the first point tonight is that the greater one is in you, so you are not emptyable. I'm not emptyable. Declare it right now in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, I will grow from glory to glory. They cannot empty me. Go ahead this night and say, Wherever you are, all over the globe, I welcome you. Let me know where, where you're logging in from, which country, which um, state, you know, and all that. Just let me begin to know right now. Welcome, everybody. Tina Oga, Emel Kohn, um, Zion, Green, Green, Green Child, Great Child. Is it Great Child? Yes, Great Child. Richard Moses and uh, um, Aliko Adiko, Zion, you know, Patricia, and all that. Which countries are that? Kaduna, Nigeria. Where are the Cameroonians? Where are the, uh, the Americans? Where are the people from Zambia, Orlando, Florida? Welcome, Dr. Naimo Felicia. God bless you, ma'am. Botswana, uh, this is uh, um, it's moving fast. So the Botswana woman just came, and I think it's, it's, it's a female. God bless you all today. Yeah, I mean, oh, Chuba Shetty, our beloved Chuba Shetty. God bless you, ma'am. Praying for her, God increase her, God in Lasha. Two more, two low for South Africa. Hallelujah. Now, Malawi is here tonight. Kenya is here tonight. Lusaka, Favor of Mulenga is here tonight. Ah, Gloria Peters, Nigeria. Vera Ojo. We better the Ghanaians. Pray, praise the Lord. God will do mighty things. I want to pray for you that any uh, Gugua Sarah, Nigeria, wonderful woman, great husband, great family. God, God bless her. Pray for her all the time. Zambia, uh, Asina Banda. You halaba kasha, no weapon formed against you tonight shall prosper. All that concerns you this week shall prosper. All of you, and those who will see logging tonight, and then those who will watch this program later, all that you do this week shall prosper. God shall prosper the labor of your hands. Today is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Just before we start the seven days program next Sunday, God will perfect all that concerns you. Your week is blessed. Your going out is blessed. And above all, the any power that wants to empty you, you will see that the greater one they will know and they will recognize and they will testify that the greater one is in you. Hallelujah. Angela, welcome. Um, Iba, wonderful daughter, wonderful great dickiness. God bless you. Salami, uh, precious Egwim, Doris, Omigo. As I call these names, Father, bless these names in Jesus' name. Oh, Holy Ghost, go ahead with them. Those who are who have not even called who will be logging in later after tonight. Lord God, increase and enlarge them. Let your doors open. Let your let let, let your way be straight. Let the Lord send helpers for you. Like God sent John the Baptist. And I say to somebody here tonight, no power can empty you. The power of the empty ass, we stop them in Jesus' name right now. We stop them in Jesus' name right now. We stop them and please, just don't waste time. Just keep sharing immediately. Just keep sharing immediately. Let somebody know that there's a program going on. Share right now to your group. Why should I even remind you? Go ahead and say, God, bless me as I share. Yes, go. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it very hard. Don't, don't pity it and let it go, go. God will increase you. From outside to the north, you will increase. From, to the south, you will increase. What does that mean? You can't be empty. You are going to be, you will multiply. The Bible says, be fruitful and multiply. So I decree over you, you shall multiply. The anointing over this program shall multiply you. In Jesus' name, say, I cannot be empty. I shall be multiplied. So I prophesy tonight, 
you are being multiplied. You are moving from glory to glory. You are moving from honor to honor. You are moving from peace to peace. Yeah, they can't empty you. You are moving from power to power. You are moving from favor to favor. Go ahead, strength to strength. Yes. Yea, Mahu Yalabakasha. Moses for welcome tonight. Jesse will be welcome tonight. Christy, Dr. Christy, welcome tonight from Wari. Oh, Dwala Cameroon Fatumba. Welcome everybody here. Yi Mahalaya Bakusha. Lake Amasata and this winter. And in Nigeria, I'm happy that some of you logged in. Mwango, our beloved Reverend Teresa. She's alive tonight. Yakaba Bakashada. God bless us. Ibere Sophia, God bless you. Chris Unja. Papoma. Lama Yatosha Bakasa. Those who are planning to empty you or all that concerns you, God will make them go blind. 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 Them go blind. Before the plan, you have gone. You have escaped. In the name of Jesus, any power to reduce you, they shall scatter to pieces. I decree tonight, I cannot be reduced. I cannot be lowered. I cannot be... You see, emptying you also means subtraction. So I pray this night, the spirit of subtraction, pass over my address. Say it now. I decree subtraction to pass your address in Jesus' name. Subtraction go, subtraction go, lose her right now. Yes, lose her right now, lose her right now. Subtraction go, you are not going down. Yeah, anybody watching now or later, you are not going down. 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 In Jesus' name, you are not going down. Subtraction pass over your address. Subtraction pass over your address. Yes, I lose addition. I lose. Multiplication in the name of Jesus right now over you. Subtraction is not your name. Subtraction is not your name. There shall be no subtraction. There shall be addition. There shall be no loss. There shall be no minus in the name of Jesus. There shall be no subtraction. The best that you have shall increase. And, and the Bible says, and uh, 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 Isaac multiplied. And he grew strong and became greater. That's not a man that can be empty. If you look at Isaiah, I mean, today, if, if you look at um, Genesis 26, but uh, before then, I want to just show you something tonight that will help you. Okay. Look quickly tonight, too. Uh, and there was no smith. That was, that's in um, 1 Samuel 13, verse uh, 19. It says, And uh, there was no blacksmith found throughout all the land of Israel. For the Philistines said, lest the Hebrews make them swords and pierce. So the Hebrews were a strong nation, but the Philistines made sure they are emptied. They took away their, 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 their swords. They took away their spears. Yes. A strong nation became a beggarly nation. A strong nation be became be became a weak nation. A strong nation became a struggling nation. A nation favored by God became a nation that nobody knew about. The Philistines began to torment them. Now I'm saying share and invite somebody. God bless as many as are sharing tonight. Yegi Mashotoya. Yegi from YouTube, from Facebook, begin to share right now. Yes. Yemaya Dagabagosha. Maloyade, Mashabaha, Kiabozada, Emayadena, Guyamasha, Mazetak, Mazotak, Kiano, Kuyanoga, Egamaza, Yekimala, Keliamboza, in Kiyamana, Loshabaya, Lake. Whatever they took from you to empty you, this night the anointing is bringing it back. What your honor which they took is coming back. Their glory which they took is coming back. Yeah, in Jesus' name. Oh God, whatever has been taken from this woman, from this man, from this family, this night, I make a decree, it is coming back to you now. In Jesus' name, your speed, which they stole from you, your speed shall come back. Yes, yes, your grace. I, I see about, about eight people, they have lost the gifts of the Holy Ghost. The gifts of the Holy Ghost that you used to manifest are no more there. This night, I decree, take it now.
Put your hands on my hand. In Jesus' name, those that have emptied you, I decree they shall suffer. So I release restoration now over you. What was taken from you shall come back. I shall not be empty. You cannot be emptied in Jesus' name. 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 They cannot empty you. They cannot empty your children. They cannot empty your destiny, your ministry, your, bu your business career. In Jesus' name now. How do you empty a pastor? Because sometimes we, we, we feel, oh, this, this man and, and this uh, woman of God, they don't have, uh, you know, uh, I attacks. In fact, they have the biggest attack because if the devil can can attack the the husband, like in the home, he has, he has gotten that home to himself. So if the devil can attack a bishop, a pastor, a reverend, a reverend father, you know, archbishop, whatever you call them, God has lost and the devil has gained. So I want to pray this night and I say that just as they took, now they began to take from Israel. They began to take from Israel. The Philistines made sure that they had no spear and they have no, verse 20, no, no sword and no spear. But all the Israelites went to the Philistines to sharpen every man his, his, his sword and his spear and his scooter and his axe just to break firewood. They will go to the Philistines. And it's Matok. Verse 21. Yet they had a five for the Matok. So the, the Jews had a five for the Matok. And for the quarters, and for the forks, and for the axes, and to sharpen the guns. But they cannot do it. They were emptied. Powerful nation. You know, right now, Israel has, they are about 980 something Nobel Prize winners. Israel is two thirds of them. Two thirds of them are Jews. That means they are creative. They have power. Yes. Look at the whole world. 900 and something Nobel Prize winners. Nobel, maybe winner in agriculture, winner in science, winner in literature, winner in here, winner in that, winner in there, you know, discovery. Yet it is the Jews. They, that's why Hitler hated them. They, they, Hitler wanted the Jews. Hitler said, I see these people. They shall take over the world. Let us kill them. So Hitler killed the Jews. Six million. Because God has so blessed them. God has so talented them. Whatever they lay their hands prospers. When the world is searching for a result, God gives the result to, to the Jews. But there was this day that they got captured by the Philistines. And I come to decree this night, any Philistine holding what is your own, any Philistine that want to, you know, you know, reduce you, that want to empty you, I command that Philistine, run mad, die. I command every powerful force, negative satanic force, the Philistines, that's the kingdom in the spirit world. The Philistines, the Philistines, I command them to lose your control, to lose your glory, to lose your anointing, to lose right now your grace, your glory, your power, your honor. Yes, and your weapons of war. Yes, if they take your sword and they take your, your spear, what else do you have? It's just like saying we are, we are fighting a war. Then before I shoot, I will, I will come and borrow a bullet from the enemy. I said to somebody this night, you will not borrow bullet from the enemy. In the name of Jesus, your bullet which they took from you shall come back to you. Yes, your glory, your power, your money which they took shall come back to you. Can you imagine you going to beg your enemy for money to eat? I decree today, in the name of Jesus, it has ended. I shall not be empty. You shall not be empty. No power can empty you. You are growing. You are multiplying. You are increasing. You are running faster. You are growing. You are growing. You are multiplying. You are increasing. Yali Invite somebody now. You are growing. You are growing. Miracles are happening in your life every day. Your life is able to contain them. You are an overflow of God's of, of, of God's mercy. People can see God's mercy on you. They will ask you, how did you make it? And you will tell them, it's not of him that will let or run it. 
but God has shared mercy. I see God's mercy overflowing in you. I see God's glory overflowing in you. I see God's mercy overflowing in you. I see God's mercy overtaking you. I see God's mercy surrounding you. I see God's mercy lifting you. I see mercy. I want to tell somebody, if there's no other prayer that you know how to pray, always pray that prayer. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. That prayer contains a million prayers. Yale makashala bayaderan. Igo bo sati yamazata. Let glory come on you. Be healed right now. That sickness will not kill you. That disease will not reduce you. Uh, whatever they've sent to torment you, to take your money from you, that you will spend the money on sickness. Tonight I decree, in Jesus' name, be healed now. 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 They took their sword. They took. And they said, okay, fellow Egyptians, uh, fellow uh, Jews, if you want to sharpen your sword, come to us. Watch this. Look at the last verse. Verse 22. So it came to pass. That's first Samuel 13. Write it down. Verse 22. It came to pass in the day of battle. In the day of battle. In the day of battle. There was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people. Is that a life to live? In the day of battle, no sword, no spear found. But your enemy has taken your, what you will defile. The Philistines took the fire. So the enemy took the fire. Any of your property they have taken. Stretch your hands now. In Jesus' name, within three days, there shall be restoration coming. Within three and a, three and a half days, I see somebody who is stubborn. The earth shall swallow them in the name of Jesus. Those who are stubborn, God will swallow them. But within three days, there shall be a reversal. There shall be restoration. Those that took your sword, those that are determined to empty you, 12 midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., day or night, the Holy Ghost anointing shall strike them now, 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 the Holy Ghost anointing strike them now, strike them now, empty us, empty us, run, mad, empty us, run, mad, right now, Yima, Golash, Kayak, Kush, eh, Hiaba, on the day of battle. You will shout hallelujah. And when they ask you, what is your secret? You will let them know it's not of him that will it or him that's run it, but God that showeth mercy. Your, your fire which they took from you shall come back. Your power, your fresh oil. There are some of you online when you are in when you are in God's presence, you can't pray anymore. You can't read the Bible anymore. They've taken you, they, they've taken your, your file. Because when you have your money quiet time, when you, when you have a loan with God, then your, your spirit is sharp. But when they take it from you, you are finished. Whatever they took from you, that is supposed to make your spirit to be sharp. I say, take it back now. Let's put you on and say, I take it now. Say, Lord, revive me again. Hallelujah, that thy glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, that thy glory. Revive me again. Hallelujah, that thy glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, that thy glory. Revive me again. Revive us again. Revive me 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 again. Hear me tonight. Whatever they took from you, they were so intelligent. What we sharpened the Israelites. What will sharpen their spirit? What will sharpen their, their victory? What to make them to sharp? They, they said, take your spear, take your gun, take everything, but we shall keep the bullet. That is the emptier. 
what one secret that the empty has used is they 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 make you to pray, but but the fresh fire is gone. An emptier can make it to, to, to go to church, but you, you go with malice and trouble and you are, you, you are a fault finder. In that church, you are a fault finder. You have enemies in your subgroup. Yes. That's what emptiers do. Emptiers make you to hate your pastor. Emptiers make you to hate your husband, your head, your authority. Emptiers make you to be so bitter. They say, go, 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 go. Read your Bible, but when you read it, there's no more revelation. Oh, God, revive that woman this night. <laughs> Holy Ghost, revive that man this night. <laughs> you forgot that right from the days of John the Baptist up to now, <laughs> God's kingdom suffered violence, <laughs> and the violent take it <laughs> by force. <laughs> By force, by force, <laughs> by force, <laughs> Yegi Masha Tole, <laughs> revive this woman, oh God, <laughs> a revival is coming, <laughs> a revival is coming, <laughs> your spirit man, <laughs> they took your fight from you, <laughs> you are carrying spear, <laughs> you are carrying sword, <laughs> but they are so blunt, <laughs> there is no impact, Yegi <laughs> Yaboshan, you pray without impact, Yegi Masha Tole, you say, I will do my vision, but you slip off immediately, Yegi Masha Tole, Masela, Magoyan, if there be anybody online who is now dry, that is the emptier. The emptier will suck your oil. The emptier will suck your oil. You are still calling yourself a pastor, but you are dry. You are dry. That's the emptier. So, oh God, revive me. I take back my fire. I take back my fire to be sharp. The enemy does not want you to be accurate and sharp. The enemy wants you to be busy, 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 but not result. Oh God, restore us again. Let there be revival in the life of this woman, oh God. Of this man, oh God. Let there be revival. Let there be revival. Give me a do shine. Give me a do shine. Kiabonan, and a power that want to blunt to your spirit. I want to make your ears to be blunt, your spirit blunt, your life blunt, not sharp as an eraser anymore. When you when you when you just got born again, you were sharp like an eraser. When God speaks, you can hear, but now you can't hear anymore. Take your revival, take your restoration right now. They've taken away your fire. You have to go and beg them to say, please, enemy, help me. Give me, borrow me five bullets to shoot you. Is it possible? No. Yale Magashar, Masodi Yabeda, in Koboga, they seized the fires of the Jews. They seized them. They seized them. They seized the fires of the Jews. Pray this night. Anything that I be sent, oh God, to blot on me, to make me blot, to take away my sharpness, I command it to scatter right now in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Give upon me, pour upon me a fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil. Revive me again. I want to advise somebody about, about, about 17 of you. Go and do at least three days revival prayer and say, God, revive me. Please fast for the three days. 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 3, 6 to 6. Lord, revive me again. In Jesus' name. So that is one sign that you have been captured. That you have been captured. It's when they allow you to go to church. They allow you to even read daily manner. They allow you to even, you know, be active for God. But there's no more fire. Now, let me also show you something right now. One of the signs that you have been blocked, and one of the things that can make them to block you, with what I want to show you now. Those around you can empty you. They can empty you and move on. Yes. There are some people who are empty as they move from church to church, they move from marriage to marriage. They can empty a man, they can empty a, a great wife, they can empty children. And move on. Empty do not stay one place. 
When they empty you, they move on to the next target. I prophesy to you, you shall escape them. You shall escape them. You shall escape them. You sh I was reading this night, this uh, afternoon. The Bible says, I'm the to push Jesus from the brow of the hill to kill him before his time. And Bible says at a stage he hid. He was hiding from them. I loved, I loved, I loved my Lord, Lord Jesus. He was hiding. The Bible says also at one stage he just walked through their midst. Power. Yes. Then the last one says he escapes. My Lord that can kill them. No. He escaped. He escaped. He hid. He walked through their midst. So what does that mean? Though he could kill them, he had to use his take physical steps. If there are people around you that you know are emptying you, move out before they move you out. So take note of that. Empty us, we empty you and then move on to the, to the next company. See, empty, empty us can be staff. They can empty your business and move on. An empty can be a, a, you know if you have if you have an MD or you have a chairman or you have a general manager or you have an you know a management staff that don't understand this teaching is that you will just see that people are just there they come to work blah, 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 blah. before you know what I mean your business is down MTS can be sent to your business your career and they empty your ministry even to church they can be sent to church and cause trouble but any person online. Please contend with them. They are gossips. They tell lies inside church. They are emptiers. If they cannot empty the bishop or the reverend or the uh, apostle or the archbishop or the reverend father, then we want to empty young believers. They tell young believers story about 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 the ministry. They run the pastor down. Run the leadership of the ministry down. Emptiers. They are storytellers. I, 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 I decree today, let God silence every empty act talking against you. God arise. Oh God arise. Let them be scattered. Oh God arise. Let them be silenced. Let the Holy Ghost anointing silence them. Let God silence them. Let God silence him. Let God silence her. Let God silence them. Don't send to your business. Don't send to your ministry. Don't send to your family. A, a house help can be an emptier. A house help can empty your family. A house help can empty your family. I, I crucified emptiers this night by the Holy Ghost anointing. Take it in Jesus' name now. May you jump over them. May you jump over them. This week and this month, you jump over empty earth. You jump over them. I prophesy you shall be greater than where you are right now. You, I see you greater. I see your children greater. I see your staff greater. I see your business greater. I see your home greater. I see your career greater. Your ministry greater. Lakuyamo shada. Ingeliamo zade. Hiyomo shadan. You shall walk in pleasant places. You shall shout, Hooray! I have possessed my possession. That shall be your story. Go with this grace empty earth. They shall watch you march on. They shall see you, you know, climb high in the name of Jesus. Every empty earth, they will end in shame. They can never empty you. The, the ultimate empty earth is death. Every plan to kill you, let it scatter, let it scatter. You jump over death, you jump over death, you jump over death, you jump over death, you jump over death. This March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, you jump over death. That accident, that road crash, that plane crash, that sickness, be healed tonight. Wherever you are, be healed. 
Kiri tonight. Legi majotana. Gasoba yade haba. Imolo yado. Imolo yado nana. Kaso kaya angaza. Ikobo satiyama. Gene. So people can be, you know, association. People, they can empty you and they say, let them move on. Learn to say no. Learn to say no. If there are people your spirit is not flowing with, learn to say no to them. I remember some years ago, I went to a city called uh, Asaba. We were having a crusade, and the governor of the state invited me. God bless them. And I, I, I was there with our team. Big international crusade. P people came from America said, for that crusade. But, but it did not hold in Lagos. It, it, it held in Asaba. That's my state capital. So as a citizen, I was invited by the state governor. May God bless them. And may God bless even the current governor. And uh, my only prayer is that God will help these our politicians. God should sp show them secrets to help the masses. Because people are suffering. It's not just Nigeria, but globally. Many countries are in... Japan is in recession. Uh, UK has not even recovered from recession. They are, but they are coming out. So you see, this is the end time. Perilous times. Don't just blame uh, Zambia alone. Don't just blame South Africa. Zuma is bad. Oh, uh, Cyril uh, Ramaphosa is a bad man. Oh, it's easy to just... Cause it, all this. But remember, we are in the last days. Perilous times. Difficult times. Hunger. Yes. Politicians will become more wicked. Anyhow, that's not the story. So as I was ministering that, it was, it was a Thursday, and I said, you are a pastor here. You have a big ministry around Benin City, which is the sister state close to us. But a lady has emptied you. I said it. A lady has... Those of you who, who are in Mana Mountain, this story, you know it so well. I said, a lady, the, the Holy Ghost spoke to me, he said, a lady has emptied you. Run out. There was silence. Even the governor was there and the family and the state executive council. They were all listening. And I said, come out. If you don't come out, a worse thing shall happen. Then this man, handsome man, young man, promising with fire, is thrown out. And I asked him what happened. He said he had sex with a lady in church. You see why I said that they will, they will move on. After, after they slept together, she disappeared. But his problem started. He became sick. And after becoming sick, he could no more preach. Anointing left him. Grace left him. Disgrace came on him. He was now hospitalized. Yes, a woman, just one woman. Empty us. Empty us. Empty us. And you all know what happened. So I asked the whole congregation, that big cenotaph, Asaba, to pray for this man. And as they prayed, he went down. Bah. The Lord said, lay hands on him again. So I raised him up. I lay hands again. He went down. I raised him again. I said, now, in 14 days, it's over. But go back and say no more. The hospital bills you will pay as punishment. But remember, she may come back. Well, was that not how that pastor was delivered? And everybody shouted. It, it, it was the lady that, that after, and because he was sick, people left the ministry. It's different if a pastor should travel. I travel a lot. But if you say, ah, the man, ah, oh, he's dying. Everybody, the, 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 the dog can bury him. They ran away. And the lady disappeared. Those that emptied you in the past and disappeared shall suffer. I, I command today restoration in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. And this man, you know, came out of that sickness. He was, he was loosed. And he carried his father, he carried his mother, he carried all his siblings, he carried the whole family, and they traveled to Lagos. And they did a big thanksgiving. Those who were in church, you know what I'm talking about. His ministry was restored. 
And if that man, if God could restore him, I make a decree. And you know what thing that God said I should pray that time? He said, return the sickness back to the lady. Even if she's from the river, from the sea, I command that sickness to go back. And anybody who has emptied you, whatever they took from you, by their brain, by their crook, crookedness, they took your money from you, by, by their, 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 their lies, they deceived you, and they, you know, they, they cannot... They, they, they use words to deceive you. And they took anything from you. Whatever you lost, there is coming restoration. In the name of Jesus, take it now. The Holy Ghost anointing is restoring you. Anything you lost by mistake, whatever you lost by being deceived. The deceiver shall die. Today, there's no mercy. The deceiver shall run mad. An incurable sickness shall come upon that deceiver. In the name of Jesus, if I be a man of God, an incurable sickness shall come upon that deceiver. In the name of Jesus, and my father is hearing me now. Take your own back. Take your money. Take your job. Take your good health. Sickness, go back to sender. Sickness, go back. Empty as shall die. Empty as shall die. Empty as shall die. In Jesus' name. Yalabaha, Ingesiya Banaba, Ruyaba Baba Kashiya. He said, of us to meet bad people, we shall meet good people. And I, I, I have told you this story before. There, there was a young man. MTS shall pass over you. Good people shall locate you. Good men and women and helpers shall come your way. Something happened. A, a young man, I'll just finish university, no job. He was roaming about one day, so he saw a, a white man. He saw, was it a white man or a CEO? And his driver battling to change tire. So he just went there and said, good afternoon, sir. He said, good afternoon. He said, can I help the driver? The man said, no, no, that, that, that is his job. He said, no, I want to help, sir. So the man now allowed him. They, they, they began to, he changed the man's tire. I said, thank you, sir. He did good for the man. And as he was going, the man called him back. He said, who are you? He said, take this. This is my card. See me in the office. Watch this. So after about a month, after seeing him, he said, I will get back to you. After a month, this white man, a CEO, was about to leave Nigeria. He was asking, who do I give my house to? Who do I give all these cars, all these gifts to? He called the man that changed his tire. He said, come and see me. And that was how he was able to that, that man from zero to hero. May you meet the right people. May you be an answer to somebody. Those who will give you question to answer, God will confuse them. Those who will give you problem, difficulties, tears in your eyes, God will dry them. The Holy Ghost will dry them. The Holy Ghost will dry them. May you encounter grace. May you encounter great men and women. May you encounter help this week. May, may you encounter grace this week. May you encounter, you know, you know, those who that will fight for you this week. May your may your going now be blessed. May the wrong people pass over you. May the right people locate you. Those that God has said to help your destiny. May you meet them. May you meet them all. You will meet them. You will meet them all. This March, this, this uh, April, God has arranged them in ahead. May, June, July to December. You shall locate them in Jesus' name. That man became rich. People say it was, it was Juju. There is a favor that you can't explain. They will call you an occultist. They will call you a juju man. A sangoma. They, they will call you various names. Because they cannot interpret you. They cannot explain you. And from this night, I make a decree. Your progress will not be explained. They can't explain you. They cannot explain you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, yali yabo shout. My life shall defy them. 
My life shall go beyond your five senses. Oh God, make me a new woman. Make her a new woman. Make this man a new woman. A new man. May you, may you be a new man. May you be a new woman. Somebody shall grace. Somebody shall fire. Yegi ado shandela bode. They won't understand you. When God's hand is on you, you become unexplainable. They can't explain you. You will be very great. Those great doors shall open for you. And people shall say, you are not qualified. Truly, you are not qualified. But God shall qualify you. You will overtake. You will overtake. You will overtake, you will overtake, you will overtake, you will overtake. Don't struggle to be seen. Don't struggle to be the head. Just struggle to love God the more. More of you, less of me. Always don't struggle in the crowd. In church, do the smallest things. That was my secret. Do the small, small things. Don't, don't follow popularity. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, let me just quickly. Oh, our time is nearly gone, but, but it doesn't matter. Just, just give me a few minutes. I want to show you something that happened to a man in the Bible. Look at this. Insults. Can you see that? Are, are you sharing? Oh. Come on, just keep sharing. Just keep sharing. Just, just keep sharing. Second Kings 24, verse 24, verse 12. And Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, went out to the king of Babylon, he and his mother and his woman and his princess, and the king of Babylon took him in the in the eighth year. And he carried, watch this, look at this one. He carried all the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house and cut in pieces all the vessels of gold. What an insult. That's an MTR. Yes. The king of Babylon emptied Judah. The gold was cut to pieces. He took all the golden vessels. That was why God... Oh my God. Daniel chapter 5. See. And his princes and this. And he cut in pieces all the vessels of gold. Which Solomon, king of Israel, had made in the temple of the Lord. As the Lord had said. He carried them away... All away, all, all the all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of valor. He took them, he emptied Jerusalem. Ah, Babylon emptied Jerusalem. Those that take your best, I today decree, please prophesy, prophesy with me right now. Say after me, say, 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 I take back what I lost. Loud I say, whatever they took from me, I take it back. Say it seven times now. Prophesy. Yes. The king of Babylon took everything from Judah. Judah became empty. He took the best soldiers, the best men, the best vessels. The one he didn't like, he cut them to pieces. Gold. Insults. He took their gold. He destroyed their gold. Some powers want to destroy your character, your beauty, your grace, your ministry. Today, Holy Ghost anointing fall on you. Today, Holy Ghost grace come on you. Holy Ghost lift you again. Would you please share right now? Share and bless somebody. What they took from you shall be restored again. Gilabos at a lead. Gilabos at a lebo. Yegabos at a man. And the one night, the son, the son of the king of Babylon. Watch this. You know the story very well. His name is Belshazzar. And Daniel told him, verse 
22, Daniel 5. And oh, thou his son, Belteshazzar, has not humbled yourself because God dealt with it. God drove Nebuchadnezzar into the forest for seven years. You know that. He was punished. Though thou hast, thou knew all these things. But thou hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee. Can you imagine? The vessels of gold, the vessels of honor, we have brought from the temple of Solomon. And, and give it to, a, a, to, to an unbeliever. Insult. I make a decree tonight. Every insult in your life. Let the Holy Ghost wipe it away. Let the blood of Jesus wipe that insult right now. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. The Galayado shark, that insult must go. That insult must die. That insult must go. Now, I want to pray a prayer for Mother Mountain. I want to pray a prayer for all the pastors here. I want to pray a prayer before the business. Every wrong person in your ministry, let God shake them away. Let God shake them away. Now, the businessmen and women, let God shake any wrong staff for your ministry. Whatever they are stolen from you, God shall restore in Jesus' name. Any liar around your life, God will expose them in Jesus' name. Anybody sent to decrease you shall suffer. They shall go with incurable sickness. Now, if I be a man of God, God is doing it now in Jesus' name. Run, people must go. Watch this carefully. And it's told Betty Shaza. Betty Shaza. And he said, and they brought before thee and thy lords and wives and the concubines. But concubines, you using using they were, they, were, they were using God's golden vessel. Concubines, share right now, please. Share, share everybody right now. Don't be lazy. So if you are lazy in sharing, it's a sin. Don't be lazy. And they have brought them to your wives, concubines are using gold to drink. And they have drunk wine in them. Oh, my insults. And thou hast praised the gods of Siva. They brought those things to the gods of Siva and gods of brass and iron and wood and stone, which, 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 which cannot see, nor hear, nor know. And the God in whose hand thy breath is, and those and whose are all way, their ways. Who knows all your ways? You have not glorified that one. And as he was talking, a hand appeared on the wall. And the hand began to write, Mene, Mene, take care, no pass it. Oh, this is the interpretation. God has no by thy, thy kingdom and finished it. I say to somebody tonight, I will not say the rest this night, next Sunday. God has no by your days. If I, let me just finish it. He said, Mene, God has no by your days and finished it. Take care. That has weighed the balance and found one thing. Perez, thy kingdom is divided and Give it to the medis and patience. And then the Bible says, In that night was Bethesda the king of the Chaldeans slain. No emptier shall escape. He used, he, he emptied Jerusalem. Solomon's temple was disgraced. They emptied Solomon's temple. Today you are God's temple. Any power to disgrace his temple, whether your finance, any areas. Everybody say, I'm God's temple. You can't you cannot empty me. Louder this night, oh I'm God's temple. You can't empty me. Getuyama Agetala Agota Teke Kuyama Shata Bahala. I'm God's my children are God's temple. Measure your children's name. They cannot empty me. Come on, go on, go on, go on right now. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. In Jesus, I am God's temple. Satan, you came too late. This week, this week, I, I shall hear good news, not bad news. This week, money is coming. This week, you are preserved. Night and day, angels shall fight for you this week. Grace shall be your name. Doors shall open. You will hear good news. A prayer point you have been waiting for shall be answered this week. In Jesus' name. Many, many, those that hate you, shall, they shall see. God shall weigh them and finish them. Those that hate me, oh, God shall weigh them, oh. They will, they will see many, many take a upasi. Ayagaba kashata. Many, many take a upasi. Every empty eye shall see it, oh. Every empty eye shall see it. 
kana yeye meno yagire kuya bak jia kana ingas kuya inge this monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday next week as we begin the seven days prayer next week don't miss it oh my god i love the thing it is the blood what is the thing of that last next one it's about the blood you know my goodness i need to get it very clear so that you will see it by it by tuesday anyway uh-huh it's powerful i'm telling you Just hold on. Okay. So, so the theme of this coming Sunday night is, is the blood, the Passover, and the jump over anointing. You will jump over them. After the seven days, you will jump over them. The blood, which I explain it, the life in the blood. Watch this. The Passover and the jump Ah, the mother did the banner, even they did the trunk. They jump over anointing. It's not, it's not the jump anointing. They kept the jump. I want the AGO, if, she, if she's listening, my wife told, please correct it quickly. The jump over. Yeah, so what am I saying this night? Those that have taken the gold in you from the temple of God. Who is the temple? You say, I'm the temple of God. God this week. They cannot disgrace the temple of God. You are healed in Jesus' name now. You are promoted in Jesus' name. Marital connection, yes. Your daughter is getting married, yes. And then she became sick. I want that person to send me quickly this night. Use this, uh, I hope I still have them here. Okay, you know our normal uh, things that you are supposed to use, the telephone lines. Use the telephone lines quickly and let do record a video and send it to all the WhatsApp groups. Yes. All the WhatsApp groups. Yes. Okay. Your daughter falls sick. Each time a good man comes away. The yoke is that's the MTR. That's the MTR. Your daughter falls sick. Each time a good man comes away. Who is that person? I command the yoke to be broken now. In Jesus' name, now. 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 But let me know through a video. Immediately. Legi Yabasada. Let me just begin to call one or two then. Yes. Now please share. Benedicta Uzamere. Yes. Uh, this night, uh, Sylvia Silla. Choba Shetty. Yes. Yikaba Yada. Juliet Momo. Yes. Agaba Yatiki Yabasata. Juliet Mefok. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to me, totally. Yeah. Yeah, Papa, thank you. Doris Sikone, yeah. Melodious Blessing Wally. Yes, yeah, Sunday one for. Yes, Jane and Sarah. That's that's my that's Ghanaian. Is that the Jane that, that, that I know? Florence Basambo. Sunday one for. Yes, yeah, just come on, just, just bring those names down. Yes. As, I'm late, as the names are coming, as I'm late, I'm, I'm going to give you a word. Yes, yes. Then, 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 uh, then I'm seeing Vivian. There's a name called Vivian. Vivian, Vivian. Now, 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 now. Remember, if there's nothing you can remember, many, many take care of person shall, 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 shall pursue your everybody that carried gold from you, that took the best from you, they mixed you. Many, many take care of person. The best shall return. Ayabaha. Ayabaha, Ayabaha, Ayabaha. The best shall return. The Lord says, the best shall return. He said, you will meet the best. Not just manage it. The best shall locate you. The best shall locate you. Your temple shall glow again. Your temple shall glow again. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Oh, yalaba, mahalaba. Yegi Mayada Rabayada. Maria Ashu. Go ready. Queen of Covido. Yes, yeah, just keep bringing the names on. 
And as the Lord leads me, I just call that name Charity Isha. Wait, I don't know. Charity what? Uh huh. So, uh, Zion, great, great chat, great favor. Yes, single bulus, sing ket bulus. Uh, Florence Omebulu. Hami Esien. Yes, Yalama Bagash, Itoli Yabaza. Yeki Mayata Kaba Wanko. Is it Harenta? Liya Magash Inko so kuya mashalaba. Reggae mazo tiyabasha, my God. My God, bless these names I call. And I said, give me a word, the word that give me to them, Lord. Ye mi yaba halaba gashi yaba. Oladoye. Ye kamayada. The first group, it says, it says, it says what? I forgot it. It says, but your temple. It say, your temple. The best chariton. The best chariton. The best chariton. Giyababa Kashiaba. Stephen. Aha. Mavis. Sipeya. Yekiaba. Agabakash. Jennifer. Dog Strain. Yes. I want to call those. Those of you who are. Those of you who are, who are into. Who are doing a, a stream. Is it live stream? Or using a smart, smart TV. Just for once. Just. Just sign in. You know, so that I can see you here. Okay. Ebere. Hanij. Esien. And then you have um, Melodious Tunes, Sakala. Then you have uh, Princess Oyeni, Margaret F. Tobori, and uh, Okafo, Tommy Stile. Okay, now I want to just, the, the Lord is saying this to you. There is a warning, and, and what it says to one, it says to all. The Lord says that keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. In this group I just called, they are, I remember. What it says to what it says to all. There are people that have revealed their secrets. You've taught somebody who you thought was your friend and they use it against you. But the Lord says that person shall suffer. And God is saying to the whole group this night, keep your mouth shut. Don't reveal secrets to anybody. Pray with your husband. Don't say the secret to somebody else. Between now and the next three months, it's a warning from the Lord. Oh, Father, thank you for this night. Begin to praise it. And it's for everybody online. Keep your mouth shut as you go out this week. And next Sunday, by God's grace, don't forget the blood, the Passover, and the jump over anointing. Legi Masoto. That death of this week is cancelled. Let your prayer life be sharp this week. Your, your file is back. They took your sharpener. You, you adore, you pray, you go to church, but you know you are not sharp. Revival has come. Give him praise tonight. Thank you for answering prayers. Give your offering and call it. The, the, just, just, just call it the offering of a new temple. Temple restoration. The, 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 what they took from this temple. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. God says he's taking it back. Take it now. Say, say the temple, my, say the offering of temple restoration. Bless them tonight, God. Whatever was in your life, any God they took away, they must vomit it. In Jesus' name. Empty us will die, empty us will run mad, and you will jump over them. Read your Bible this week. Stay with God by force. Become sharp again. I am sharpening I am sharpening you tonight. Good night, everybody. Give your offering as we are led into these accounts, as you know, as we do. Yes. You know, you know, you know the accounts. Just to remind you again, as you are there, or you go to our page twenty nine, they are all there. Okay. Our page twenty nine, they are there. Glory to God, Hallelujah. So you just go there, you will see all the all the all the offerings. And play after this broadcast, share. Just keep sharing this right now. Just share the broadcast right now. Thousands will see, watch it later. Let God use you. Hallelujah. 
Yes, let God just use you and let God speak to people through you. Have you been blessed tonight? Amen. So, I just want to say this to you quickly. Just a minute. Amen. That was a part of the, you may see more of the last word of 99. Just keep praying, keep praying. Father, bless all the offerings tonight and let God restore your temple. Whatever Nebuchadnezzar and Petitiazah took up, they shall, they, shall, they, shall, they, shall, they shall hear God's finger saying, many, many take care of us. No, none of your, anybody that wants to empty you shall not escape. Good night, everybody. They will not escape. Keep praying now. Don't talk to anybody for the, for the next five minutes. Pray, kneel down, pray, thank God, and decree I'm not empty able. And decree also that the that this temple they can't take away any treasure. Yes, I will I will multiply, I will grow, I will move from grace to grace. And don't forget the names that we are called is for everybody. Ye kama kash Loya mama gash iyaba. Good night, and I love you. I appreciate you. Keep praying for me all the time and pray for the next our daily brother uh, coming out in the April. And uh, sorry, coming out the next this week. This week, yes, yeah. Oh, that should be out uh, across across the globe this week. Uh, buy it for people, and also give out copies. Okay, and please be prepared to share this weekend broadcast. I know I'm I'm, 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 I'm basically a writer. People are telling me, be sure come back every day, every day. I'm a writer. When you are sleeping, I'm awake. Yes, yeah, so I'm so busy, you know. So please pray for me. If I was called just for only broadcasting, I'll be doing it every morning, every morning, every morning, every morning. But don't worry about that. By and by, we shall hear what God is saying. Okay, good night. And just enjoy what the Holy Spirit has in stock for you. Amen.
Yes, your God is a good God. Good night, everybody. Just keep. I love you. I see you. See you. Just keep praying.